Hey everyone, it's Sarah here from Edgecom Art. Today I'm going to be showing you a very quick video on how to use Critter, which is a free program, to create a seamless repeating pattern um, specifically for use in fabric design or any type of application where you want to take a small design and fill you know, a large area. So it's what you would put on um, you know, bag designs, you know, shower curtains, red bubble, those sorts of things where you need something that will expand out and repeat and tile over an entire area. Fabric is not designed as a piece that is, you know, 1.5 meters wide and, you know, 20 meters long. It's designed as a small tile, um, uh, you know, depending on, you know, the size that you're going to be designing your artwork at, which is then repeated, um, tiled over the fabric um, during the printing process. Um, that's how it's done. So we're using Critter today, which is a free program. It's one of the most amazing programs for doing this kind of design work. Um, you can obviously do this in more expensive programs like Photoshop and Illustrator InDesign, you know, the Adobe products, but they're very expensive. And you can also do some amazing design work on your iPad using an awesome um, app called Procreate, but it doesn't have this feature that Critter does, which is the wraparound mode. And I'm going to be explaining how to do that today. It's fantastic for beginners. I'm not going to be going into all the really specific, so looking at DPI and sizes and all those things today. This is a really basic video on have design, put on, print. I'm using a Wacom tablet today to do my designing, so it's just a little a little tablet like that that you draw on here. It translates over onto the screen with um, the special um, special pen. These are about sixty or ninety dollars Australian, depending on where you get them from. You can also use your mouse, but um, you get a little bit better control when you're using a pen um, rather than that. So here's a very quick one I did up on just before Christmas. So just doing some drawings. Um, here in Critter and it turns it into this sort of redesign. And we use the wrap around mode here. Oops, you do. Let me bring that right on over um, to do the design. So as you can see here, this flower um, starts here but finishes here. Um, and you can use the wrap around mode here to do that. So what we're going to be doing is just another couple of um, another couple of the examples to do with that is we're going to be creating a new file make it square you don't have to make it square Critter does actually will, will tile any um, any shaped um, drawing but a lot of the programs that you're going to want to upload this to are going to require a square image so I'm just going to make a small one of 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels um, rather than a bigger one. Make sure your resolution's good. Don't worry about anything else. Hit create and you end up with a square like this. I'm just going to add a couple of layers. Um, and just on this first layer here, I'm just going to call it dots. Um, you don't need to do this, but it's just to show you um, how this works. I'm just going to grab a different color pen and a different color. And I'm just going to put a dot in each corner of this square like that. Okay, and then we go up to um, view and we're going to hit wrap around mode. You can also hit control or shift W as well. And then you end up with this. And if you can imagine those dots were our only design, you'd end up with fabric that um, just had, you know, little dots repeating um, all over that. You know, you could put little dots here. Okay, and see how whatever I change on uh, this tile changes on all of them. And for the most part, that will work um, across all of the squares there are some features i found like if you're going to choose a color picker that if you color pick on a tile that is you know, let's just change over to pink if you color pick it on a tile that is not the actual square see how the color picker is not working if you go back to image and go off to your wraparound mode come back over to your actual square and then hit the color picker it changes so sometimes it doesn't pick things up so that's one of the biggest issues that i had trying to do something and it wouldn't work and I couldn't figure it out and I eventually figured it out that I needed to actually do the, the feature on the actual tile and I got a bit stuck with that because most of the time when you're designing in wraparound mode whatever you do on any of the tiles will, will change your tile but it doesn't always work like that so if you're having problems that's a really great fix and I found that that was really very helpful. Okay but we're not actually going to use that particular one so we're just going to hide that, um, hide that screen. And on this layer here, we are going to just go back over to the brush and I'm just going to show you what we would do if you were designing just a really random, um, you know, like, uh, you know, pattern. 
I'm not quite sure why you would want this particular design. It's not very exciting, but there we go. Okay, and so you can see how very quickly you've managed to do this. If you were going to do this on um, your iPad, you know, Procreate, you would have to design in the middle and then card and paste and spin it around and fill in the gaps and not very easy for doing design drawing work. It's okay if you're putting in, um, say, um, this kind of design. So you can put in the center um, where you might want to put in, you know, the center designs and then spin it around and then fill in the gaps, you know, from the sides and then spin it all around again. Um, but way easier to do it this way around. Okay, so here's our um, here's our design. We'll just take that off. Another thing, oh, sorry, I'll go up to another layer. Um, another thing you can uh, do with this, I'm just going to infill this background with a very pale a very pale color just something not very much there you go so it's just changed ever so ever so slightly if you were to use a, um, a stamp brush so in this case I'm just going to go and choose um, choose this we'll go back over to our pen and we'll change our color to a like a deep tealy color uh, change up my size of my let's just zoom back in Okay, zoom back into our canvas and go back into wrap around mode. And I am going to do a, let's just increase the size of this, um, a random pattern like this. You can imagine this on like a, you know, like a board short material or something like that. Or you could design, this is the background and then go and put um, other designs on top of it in this program or another program as well. So you know, for whatever you wanted to do. Change the colour. Um, here we go. This is just a really quick, you know, example of, of, of how the program works. Um, obviously, this isn't a very sophisticated, um, sophisticated design. So we're just going to do that. Grab another, we'll grab another colour. Let's put something else in. Um, I might change the size of this down and we can just do some, get rid of that. Um, you know, pull in another colour. There you go. Just to show you roughly how this program um, program works. And say this is the fabric that you um, you wanted. Okay, it's not very not very attractive. So let's just add a little bit extra, which is the good thing about Crito. You can kind of paint over it till you get what you want. Let's put some of those darks back in. Oh, you can also do this in layers. So um, you know, you could put your darks on one layer and then your lights on another and, you know, slowly build it up, um, slowly build it up like that too. That would work. But we're just having a bit of a play. Let's say you want to put some circles in over the top of that now. Actually, they're probably not going to work because they're too light. Okay. So there. Okay. There we go. All right, so you're just playing around. You can draw on top of that. Um, We can do that and then say let's have another play with another another one with here let's do a infill design um, just that color and we are just going to put some <clears throat> uh, dots over the top obviously you can um, <clears throat> there you go so that is your this is your design that you wanted for whatever it might happen to be. There you go. That's, as you can see, because we're only drawing in one part there, it looks a little bit square. So just pay a little bit of attention to where you're drawing it to make it not quite look so square. It's going to go in there and do that. Okay. You can imagine that as like a, um, you know, a background for you know a fabric or whatever it might happen to be anyway okay so there are our there are our designs we're just going to go off um wrap around mode till we get to the tile so that's what that one will look like i've done these on separate layers um just so i don't have to train change documents um but that's what our our three designs are going to look like
Um, and that is what you need to export out to, uh, say, Spoonflower or Redbubble or, you know, Spring Tea, anything that you um, want to put onto a seamless design. To do that, we're going to go to File. We are going to go to Export. And you're going to change the export um, file type to, say, JPEG or PNG or TIFF or whatever um, type of file you need. Most of mine I need PNGs for. We'll just, I'll just call it, um, let's call it blah tester because it really is quite blah. We're just going to save that. Uh, there's lots of stuff you can change in here, but um, I'm just going to do that for the moment. I'm just going to show you a very quick um, little site called Toil's Tile Tester. Here's just a couple of other ones I was playing around with before my mic wasn't working. Um, this is an example of what happens if you don't pay attention to what's on either side of your design very well. Um, and you can see how it looks a little bit square and blockish, which is fine. Um, I actually designed it to look like this, but um, yeah. And then here's another one I did. and. That's what the um, that floral one looks like in Toil's Tile Tester. Pay no attention to the size up here. It's got nothing to do with the size it's going to print. I made a mistake on that the first time, and I thought that I needed it to be 100%, <laughs> and then all my designs came out way too small when I got them printed, um, which was a bit of a whoops. Uh, so into Toil's Tile Tester here, let's just choose this one here. You go down to your file, wherever you've um, saved it, it was Blah Tester, and you just drag it onto the website and it will show you what it looks like printed. So that's your square tile and that's what it's going to look like. It's a great website for checking to see if your pattern is actually um, seamless. So we're going to just use that. And that is the file. So that, that little, um, that file there is what you would send up or upload, send off or upload um, to wherever you um, need to send that to. And we can do that again with the other ones. I'm just going to change. Um, this one here, so we're going to go file, um, export, save again as a PNG, bar tester 2, save, OK, um, and then you can upload that, or in this case I'm just going to test to see what it looks like over on Toil's Tile Tester. OK, and that's how you make the designs. Um, obviously there's a lot of um, di different things you can do with that. You can import pictures, you can draw, so um, that's a, a drawing one that I guess that I I did took quite some time to um, do. Um, there's another one here that I put onto some um, cushions, and obviously there's that one there as well. And then that's that one that you just saw. I was just playing around with some other designs, um, and that's this one here. And you can see how um, how there's that that sort of discrepancy on the line. I did that on purpose, but um, it just shows you what happens when you don't necessarily pay attention. I could have smoothed that out if I'd wanted to, but I didn't. It wasn't actually what I was wanting to do. Um, and on other programs, you know, if, if you've put a face or something on one half of here and it's not matched over here, when it prints, you're only getting that with half your face. So it's a really simple process. I'm just uh, regrouping for you. It's file, new, Create your document, draw your picture, go into, oh sorry, go into wraparound mode, draw your picture, file, export, save, and then you send that off to um, wherever it is that you want to send that off to. So I hope that's helpful. Um, obviously there's a lot more details um, and you know information to do with creating um, those designs and lots of work to do with layers as you can see here this particular design is made up of an awful lot of layers um, where I have you know done things on on different layers um, but Critter is an amazing program and there's lots of information on how to do that but I was just looking for something that was specifically for fabric design and here it is I hope that's helpful to you guys Anyway, thanks for watching and um, we'll see you next time.